Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week I'm coming to you with your weekly oracle card guidance. And we have three options here. We have this stone here and we have this one and we have this. So they're quite different options and I hope that you will enjoy making your choice on them. Uh, we're working with Doreen Virtue's Mermaids and Dolphins deck. Um, so go ahead, make your selection and you can go down to the timestamp below where you'll find your reading. Thank you. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, we are asking, what is it that you need to know for this week? What is it that we need to know at this time? And the card we have is called Mother Healing. It reads here, as your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. So this card is actually intended to speak of um, one's relationship with oneself as designed by our relationship uh, to our parents. And the message of the card is basically saying, well, heal whatever gripes you have with your parents or where you feel that they've done you wrong, or whatever your circumstances may be, heal all of that, leave that in the past. And that's what's going to allow the greater healing to take place. So I want to talk about that a little bit. I want to talk about how is it that you can actually heal yourself? And how is it that you can mother yourself? How is it that you can actually nurture yourself during this time? And where is it that it, it, it is called for you to do that? Where is it that you could treat yourself better in the way in which your parents or your guardians were able to treat you at the time. Um, this could also be with regard to your teachers or other people in your life that influenced you and ultimately um, impacted how you developed. This card talks about receiving those healing forces and allowing oneself to um, give one the benefit of the doubt. Try to understand the perspective from which the other is coming to you from. Try to meet them halfway. Try to work with what you have been given. It talks about moving beyond the state that you are in. How long have you occupied the state that you've, you have been in? And how long have you been comfortable in that state or the status? It's time to shift that status quo. It's time to move beyond what it is that you've been experiencing. It's time to actually move beyond a state of victimhood uh, or, or one where things are done unto you and to be able to take action, to be proactive in healing oneself and in creating a life for yourself that you desire and that you are in charge of, in which you call the shots as opposed to blaming others or blaming institutions uh, or whoever it may be for not actually being able to give you that which you desire. If it resonates with you, then put yourself in the shoes of your mother or your father and understand why they, take, they took the actions that they did during the times that they did, which ultimately influenced you or impacted your life. The other message I'm getting from this card is that you really need to take charge of that healing that you need in your life. So look into how it is that you can actually bring this healing into your life. Look as, into how you can actually uh, heal the wounds or close up the cuts from the past. The message here is also about seeking the innocence that one has within oneself, going inward and finding the strength and working with the innocence that is already there. So Try not to grapple with the energies at this moment. Try not to grapple outside of you, but work with what you already have inside of you. Turn your focus inward and look at your strength. Look at your being. Look at that which is you and celebrate that which is you. Look at that which is you in which you can actually um, be in this world and contribute to this world or be a part of this world. And focus less on what others have done to you or how the world is changing at this moment and how the world is um, reacting or how you need to react to the world. It's important at this time to 
to be able to understand one's own inner strength and one's own value uh, for oneself. And one can only do this if one recognizes one's own value. So where is it that you need to recognize more of your own value before you can actually be more to others, before you can actually bring uh, yourself in the world in a more wholesome way? So it's actually asking you to pay attention to where it is that you can give yourself more during this time. There's also a message in here that talks about whatever is outside of you will always be there. It's always going to be changing. It's always going to have its own moods. It's always going to have ups and downs. Um, what it, I mean by what's outside of you is what other people think or what the institutions believe or you know, what your employees think or whoever it is for that matter. But what is constant and what is unchanging is who you are inside of you and what that is. And it's important during these times to... Uh, be able to go inward and feel that which is you and to be able to rely on that which is you because that is that is all you have really and regardless of the changes and the moods and the, the waves that come in from outside of you that which is you cannot be other than you all right so that is your message for this week um and i hope that message has helped you i feel like um this the stone i think it's angelite i'm not really sure at this moment but i feel like this stone could actually be um of value to you at this moment so if you do have one um available then perhaps work with it and if not then perhaps work with the color vibration all right i'm wishing you a good week ahead and all the best to you so for those of you who've chosen the second option here we asking, what is the guidance that you require for this week? What is it that you've come here to hear? What is it that you need to hear at this moment? Oops, and there's a card that's fallen out already. I'm actually just going to go with this card for the moment. I did shuffle the cards quite a lot before um, this option. So the card is positive energy and says, surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. So this is like energy that really has been coming up over and over again uh, for the last six months or more. And I feel that it's very relevant right now, more so than many of the other energies. It's really important to uh, surround yourself with uh, with those people who believe in you and those people who are open to believing and open to understanding and open to the energy that is joy and peace and not surround yourself with people who are who have energy to con that's contrary to that so identify where is it that people make you feel better and where it is that you feel better within a certain context whether it is at work or whether it's in a sports club or whether wherever it is that you uh, present yourself how do you feel within that context and do you feel positive do you feel well do you when you leave that state or that situation whether it's a zoom call or whether it's anything else for that matter are you actually feel left leaving feeling empowered and energized or are you f leaving feeling broken down and um you know feeling humiliated or feeling just sad or, or feeling just deflated in any way so it's important to be able to engage in situations or with people who are definitely going to make you feel better and the way to do that is to identify what makes you feel worse and what makes you not feel well and then be able to dissociate yourself with some of those people or some of those things and to be able to focus more on invest more on those things that are positive and people that make you feel better this is not to say that you should let injustices in the world simply be there, this is not talking about that. It's talking about being able to fight something and to be able to stand for what you believe in as well as be happy and be wholesome and be well in yourself. But to be able to do it in a group of people that support you and not um, try to convince people who are not willing to believe you or not wanting to believe you of how they should behave. This is talking about, you know, trying to like going with the flow um flowing with the stream as opposed to uh, flowing uh, upstream or flowing against the current because you need to be able to 
stop fighting and still just start living and just start believing and and just be a part of of that which is good so the other message that i'm getting here is that you need to also identify where the negativity might be inside of you and not some that's something that's coming from outside of you where is it that you potentially have the negativity that's inside of you and that you're projecting that on others outside of you and where is it that there's something in you that needs to be made brought to peace where is it that something inside of you may be diffused or where is it something inside of you can be brought to a state of um peace or neutrality when i where i grew up there was the saying where they say you know let's shanti that as in uh, let's bring peace to it let's let's shanti it let's neutralize it let's actually bring peace to it let's bring love to it and where is it that you you could um, manage to do that as well in in a, a particular area of your life you don't have this negativity and that's not um that you're not you're not exuding any kind of negativity that might be attracting more negativity your way um because it could be in some situations that you in fact are because you are in a certain state of of mind that you're attracting that exactly of which you do not want or you do not desire because you are so fully behind that which you don't desire so you you concentrating too much on what you don't desire and then you you exude this vibration and that's what you attract into your life so it's it's about bringing awareness to oneself uh, in this way and being aware of when you have positive energy around you and when you don't have positive energy around you and how it is that you can actually bring more positivity inside of you and sometimes you know that light of positivity can be very slight light or it might almost be going out and the idea is to actually keep it afloat or keep it burning make it brighter spread that positivity and uh, make sure that uh, you're actually bringing this energy closer to you as opposed to bringing negativity closer to you which is actually putting out that fire so work with that and see where it is that you need to find your your peace your tranquility your serenity and go in that direction and work move away from from actually from anything that is that is not that so that's your message for this week um and i hope that helps you i hope that resonates in some way and i hope that as you go along that you can actually bring more positivity into your life as well as in the lives of people around you many blessings to you all so for those of you who've chosen the third option here, we're asking, what is it that you need to know right now? What is it that you need to bring into your life right now? And what is the information that you've come here to hear? What is the message that you've come here to hear? And we have self-forgiveness. So the card is pretty self-explanatory. It says, self-forgiveness um, let go of old guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child so when I see this card and um, when I when I'm in, when I'm confronted with this kind of energy I want to say that it's you who've been who's been giving yourself a hard time that it's you that needs to let up on yourself that it's you who's keeping yourself in that state and it's you who needs to be able to engage your forgiveness for yourself as well as for those around you. So where is it that you've been holding yourself down because you've not been forgiving yourself? Or where is it that you haven't been able to actually just let go of something? Sometimes it doesn't even require forgiveness. It just requires letting go of something. So the card here says, let go of all guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child. So what it's alluding to is that you need to be able to understand that you are uh, perfect in some way and that you are actually the best that you can be at any given moment and you can't force yourself to do things um, that you can't do given the situation you can't hold yourself accountable because you couldn't do better than that if you've done the best that you could and you know that you have then you can't ask for more than that from from you given the situation given the circumstances given all the variables involved this card's asking you to be able to let go of the, that and not hold yourself accountable anymore to be able to let yourself be free to release yourself from the pain that you hold onto yourself that you've tacked onto yourself it asks you to stop 
feeling hollow inside and stop feeling as if you have nothing inside of you because inside of you there exists that person which is the best that you can be and that unique being that is beautiful because you're part of this divine world that we live in you have as much value as anyone else or as any other living being and it's important to be able to recognize that and recognize that divinity that is inside of you whether you do so um, in the in the belief of God or in any other way it's almost like you've got to give yourself the chance to believe in yourself you've got to give yourself the chance to believe in a part of you that you've forsaken and you've got to stop hanging your head in shame if that's what you're doing and stop feeling any shame whatsoever and just be able to to go for it and and do whatever it is that you desire and to be able to enjoy your life to be able to um, go with the flow and feel what it is that you need to do next be guided to what you need to do next and if you are giving yourself a hard time then you're not going to be able to be guided you're not going to understand when the messages are being sent to you you're not going to hear it it's going to be difficult for you to to actually access those messages and and um, put into action anything that you need to do because you haven't given yourself the chance to be able to do that so you know stop holding yourself up against the wall L- release yourself and let yourself go and and be free and go with the flow you don't need to do this to yourself anymore so for those of you um who uh, have chosen this option and that message doesn't resonate with you i want to say that there is something deeper here there is something where which y- you have not yet uncovered and it's important for you to be able to go into it so that you can uncover it it's important for you to be able to just have the courage to to step into it to go deeper into it and once you are able to do that then you will be able to find the jewels that await you or the the treasures that await you Uh, which is something that you haven't been able to see, you haven't been able to understand because you haven't given yourself the chance to be able to do it. So it's almost like you're a diver and it's like you don't want to, you know, you're not willing to to go into the water. Well, how is it that you're going to be able to have that experience that you are seeking? You need to be able to step into it. You need to be able to dive into it and go deeper and not be afraid as you go along, but just to trust. So this card is very much about being able to trust and allowing yourself to go deeper into this and allowing yourself to go further Um, because if you go just a little bit further then you are going to find what you're looking for and you are going to be amazed by what it is that you find so where is it that you need to be able to let yourself go further where is it that you've been stopping yourself from going further and where is it that you can actually just allow yourself to go with the flow and go in deeper and see you know what comes your way and yes it's going to be scary and yes it's going to be uncharted territory in some cases but it's something that you are definitely capable of doing and you it's definitely worth taking that plunge okay Uh, there's one more message here you know because it hasn't worked in the past or because it hasn't actually been um, fulfilling in the past it doesn't mean that the future is going to be like that you can rewrite it you can make right the wrongs of the past by writing your way into the future by working with what it is to do that you want to do in the future so i think that if it's something that you're wishing for it's time to actually make it into a reality it's time to actually take that plunge it's time to actually go for it and make it happen and stop making excuses for why you haven't been able to do it or why you're not ready to make it happen all right so that is your message for this week and i hope that it's been helpful i'm wishing you all many blessings and i hope that um, you're all doing well that you're all staying well and healthy and safe and um, blessings abound from kismet rising